I will accord every person in the public here every, every, every aspect of being a gentleman. I oh. will not, however, expect that they will treat me any differently. Oh. Okay, let's look. This is an important case because it reversed a ruling of a board such as ourself. I am interested in hearing the point of what you're trying to get on the record. So could we, let's cut to that and move on with the questioning of Mr. Stack. I, but I don't understand if I may, Mr. Chairman, what is the question you have of Mr. Stack? All right, I'll just ask one question. I'll just ask it and I'll make it as short as possible. Mr. Steck, in reversing the denial of the variance, didn't the, the J report, and you can read with me, Excuse me. state Thanks. it provides for the residential, social, and health care needs of New Jersey senior citizens. See New Jersey SA 52. Facilities such as the one pro provides proposed provides a rare opportunity for seniors to continue to live privately as independently as they are able and in dignity while at the same time the essential nutritional, physical, and social needs they cannot meet for themselves are being met for them. What is your question, Mr. Bowman, because you have me confused. Did you not read that? We <laughs> <laughs> just need the planner to tell him what the case says. This is the point. Okay, this is a fix. This is not. This is not planning cross. This is. Let me read the case into the record and have him agree or not agree with me as to what it says. He'll have an ample opportunity to do that. Mr. Spasieri's asked, asked us for written summations. It's a hundred percent appropriate for him to do that there, but it's not appropriate to take the board's time. He's here to answer planning questions based on his testimony. Okay. I mean, if you want to, yeah, okay. This, this is not. By the way, I'm not reinventing the wheel here. This is an, an, not an unusual methodology when you ask a planner if he's read a case based, which interprets planning statutes and you ask him whether or not he agrees with that finding or not because that's my next question. Do you agree or disagree with that question? Do you agree or disagree with that statement by the court? If this were a congregate care facility, it would be uh, it, uh, it would be um, important to consider that. As I understand this, you're proposing an independent living facility. Okay, now, now I'm going to go back to the question I asked you before, which I believe, which I believe is right on the point. I understand you said you didn't read Doug Strike's testimony, and that's the reason I asked that. Can you tell me, sir, since you differentiate this facility in Jaber from the, what's proposed here, what the services are that are proposed for Vista that are different than the services that the court was confronted with in Jaber. All I can tell you is that the applicant is proposing an independent living facility. In my opinion, that is different than a congregate care facility. Tell me, sir, when you say it's an independent living facility, you admit, do you not, that it provides services for those people who reside there? It provides some services for the people that reside there. And you cannot tell me standing here today whether or not those services that are being proposed to be provided at VISTA are any different from the services that were reviewed by the court in Jaber and held and found to be your objection a currently beneficial use. Mr. Weiner, your objection is noted, okay? However, he did say he was familiar with the case. He's asking him specific questions. And, and, and well, then, then let him sit down and read the case. No. And, well, how else was he going to know? Nobody familiar with the case. There's a question on the table. table. You know what? I, I, I make this very simple comment. I invite Mr. Weiner, I mean, Mr. Stead, to read the testimony of, of Mr. Strike, to read the case of Jaber, and tell us, the board, me, whoever, what the differences are between the services that are proposed at the VISTA and the services that were pro that were found by the court to be inherently beneficial use in Jaber. My suggestion to the, to, the court, uh, to this board obviously is there is no difference. As a matter of fact, ours is greater. That's my position. Now, if the witness wants to look at it and tell me I'm wrong, that'll be his okay. testimony. All right. I, you know, I think the, the point has been made. Do you have any you have further questions of the witness? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Statistics regarding need. I think there's there's some confusion with the board, um, and I, I want to get this clear on the record. Last time, I believe it was your testimony um, that the need was not um, either proved through the census or was of record, and it was not there. Um, is that your testimony tonight, or? Uh, I'll paraphrase what I think I said last time, that uh, the developers, when they're proposing some large project like that, often do a marketing study to show what the demand is. As I understand it, there is no marketing study that's presented to this board. There was testimony uh, by Mr. Price, who's not a marketing expert in senior housing, to my knowledge that uh, if you project way into the future, the number of seniors, baby boomers like me, are going to increase. And I will grant you that, certainly nationwide, that's the case. What I said was that the data that I had available at that time showed that from the 65 and over category, there was a reduction both in Wyckoff and in Bergen County. As of six hours ago, at least I could find it now, and maybe it just appeared on the internet, um, the number of residents in Wyckoff, 65 and over, is relatively stable there. It went up by 174 people, which I would not consider a dramatic rise. Uh, what happens, as I said last time, is that people, uh, residents are not confined to one municipality for all their lives. They tend, college students tend to move out for a while, maybe come back. Seniors may move to an area that is less expensive. Uh, they may move to a retirement community in, in, in Ocean County. Uh, uh, as, as I understand the record, the applicant has not de demonstrated a need. There's not a professional study that shows what the demand is. Okay, whether he's demonstrated the need, in your opinion as a planner, is there a need or not? That's not, I don't do marketing studies. I don't, I can't tell you that. I can tell you that it is an essential component if they're going to argue that this is a SICA case, they have to show that there's a need for it. And okay. I don't think, and your opinion, I haven't heard any testimony opinion. that demonstrates that. Okay. Um, lastly, um, I just want to get some testimony regarding the, uh, the master plan, um, both for uh, Wyckoff and uh, possibly the state master plan. And just and you're, as a planner, um, are you familiar with the Wyckoff master plan at all? Yes. How does this application um, line up with, with Wyckoff's master plan, in your opinion? Um, it is not supported by the master plan. The master plan showed uh, the last land use element in the master plan uh, showed two of the uses that are currently on the property and the rest of it was colored clear to show it was recommended for single family residential. Uh, stepping one fur step further, uh, the only zone that was talked about was a senior zone allowed clustering, could be townhouses, but it said at five dwelling units an acre. This is substantially more dense than what was envisioned in general in the master plan, and certainly more substantial than what was envisioned in the land use plan designation for this property. Okay, thank you for that. And also, can you 
give me a little same summation about the state master plan. Uh, the state master plan classifies this as a PA1 metropolitan planning area. That has, in my opinion, no relevance on a use variance. 